So then, so then Growth Crew, tell me about what, what Growth Crew is about then. What do you guys specialize in? Yeah, so, you know, it's been two and a half years now. I'm just over two and a half years of Growth Crew. And I've made lots of mistakes, thousands, right? I've tried different things. I've chased the shiny objects. I've paid a lot of money for things that I should probably not have paid for. But I, um, I've kind of found where my sweet spot is. And that's with high potential future leaders. So I do a mentorship program where I do one-to-one -one coaching with up and coming leaders that their companies want to invest in, that senior leaders want to invest in, that they see people that will take over from them one day. Basically like a senior leader's retirement plan, right? And um, I walk apart with those leaders. Um, usually it's a 90 day program, um, but it's, I'm very flexible in terms of what's needed at the time. And they do an asset, people do an assessment with me uh, in the beginning. So I get to know their challenges, how they see themselves, um, where they'd like to be. And then, you know, the magic happens in those one-to-one -one sessions. And that's where after the 90 days, um, yeah, it's, it's, uh, you get lots of compliments, which is what makes, which what makes me come back. But that's what I look for is those moments when you with someone and you can see it hits their face and they go. All right. And you're like, aha, because they're coming up, they're understanding where they, where they're standing in their own way. They're coming up with solutions and they, they're, they're adapting to, they're adapting mindsets that they, it was always there, but through something else wasn't coming to the, to the surface. Well, so yeah, it's, uh, that's what I did. I loved the, that there's that self reward at the end of things, like, because I, I think to be a, to be a natural leader, you have to take pleasure from seeing other people succeed and seeing you know, other yeah. people become the rock stars and you almost have to make yourself fade into the background, right? So it's, it's kind of, yeah, you're the, you're the superstar. I'm just here to help showcase you to your peers, to your colleagues. I love that. Again, like, like we were saying before the show, this, this year has been super tough and I know having, having worked in the contact center industry, you know, call centers, contact centers, whether that's business process outsourcing, whether it's brands that have their own call centers, it's a super, super tough market to start with, right? People, ironically, people who work in call centers don't want to pick up the phone to answer cold calls. They don't have access to email a lot of the time, or if they do, it's just internal. For those people who are listening, who, who will perhaps have a small business like yourself, who are reaching into quite hard to reach niches. What are some of the things that have worked for you in terms of building your current customer base, your pipeline, your what's worked? Is it networking? Is it word of mouth? Is it referrals? How does it work for you? Yeah. So it's been, it's been a, a case of trying all different types of situations, uh, all different types of methods. I've never done cold emailing, um, but something that I, that I hadn't really focused on. Most of my ad, um, most of my ad bank try ad bank, ad bank activity is on LinkedIn. Um, I've done a lot of networking, but on LinkedIn, what I would do is I have a couple of, um, lead magnets that, um, I've made them really powerful in terms of delivery, but what, the value for what you get yeah. out of it, it's absolutely free, but what you get out of it is massive. And I have, um, I then. Tried all different things. I would send video messages to connections on LinkedIn. I would send uh, direct messages. You know, it's the whole thing about building a relationship on LinkedIn yeah. to try to get in some way. And, you know, it's difficult because on the one hand, you want to come, you want to come across as someone who genuinely wants to help. That's what I want to do. I genuinely want to help you and your team. 